about doing this. I haven't done like a self date in a while. I don't know. It might just be me. I don't know. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, mind you, I'm already showing up technically an hour late to the photo shoot. I smile, even though it hurts me. I smile. I know God is working, so I smile, even though I've been here for a while. I smile, smile. It's so hard to look up when you've been down. Sure would hate to see you give up now. You look so much better when you smile. Remember to smile, okay? Okay. So I don't know if you guys noticed the difference from before, but the mask really got sucked into my skin which makes sense because it's hydrating so that really meant my skin was thirsty i guess you could say because it's really barely any product left on my face like you see product but it wasn't as much as what i put on so yes yeah, so i'm glad we got that done let me wipe this off and then we can move on to makeup okay <clears throat> That mask made my skin feel so good. Like my skin feels amazing. It feels hydrated, like it did what it was supposed to do. I don't even wanna put any primer on my face, honestly, or like anything like to prep my face with on my makeup. I don't want to, cause it feels so moisturized. Oh my God. Oh, and dewy. You know that feeling like when your skin is hydrated, it just has this nice, not sticky, but nice moisturized feeling. And it's very nostalgic for me. Oh, I love that. I do hate that I have this mark on my face. I want to pop it so bad, but I'm not. So yeah, not only am I about to do my makeup, I'm about to record this story time for you guys. So you guys can like know what my trip to New York was really like. Cause it's like so many of you guys that really think my trip to New York was like so glamorous. Like it's not giving Fergie. It was not giving Fergie, it was not giving Kanye. It wasn't giving Jay-Z. It wasn't giving what it was supposed to give, okay? That trip was some BS. So I'm about to do my makeup, record that video for you guys. I'm gonna edit it later, maybe after my self date. I don't know if I told you guys I'm taking myself out to the movies and I'm gonna get me some food. Um, I don't know if I said that already, but yeah, after that, then I'm going to record, uh, not record, edit this video, but I'm going to do my makeup and record it now, so. Okay, now I know I, last time you see, see me, I said I was going to do my hair and makeup and record a video, which I did, but baby, honey, my hair is hairing and my makeup is makeup in. I am proud of myself. So right now, I'm just kind of waiting for time to pass. I think I'm about to go on Pacocha, Pacocha and just be on live and kind of like sing a little bit and just kind of giggle around a little bit and pass time um, because I'm waiting for nine, well, just like nine o'clock to roll around, honestly, um, to go to the movies because I missed the six o'clock showing because I already know I was going to miss that. But I'm waiting for the 930 showing. I'm gonna go to the movies and everything. But yeah, I just need to waste some time. So I think I'm gonna get on the Pacocha app and talk to y'all on there. I just wanted to show you, I look so comfortable. Like, I, don't nothing match. I got purple socks on with a brown Louis bag. Like, girl, that's how you know I don't care, but I'm about to go see this movie, okay? It's 9.30. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. I haven't did like a self date in a while. Okay, bet. Yeah, I just had to show y'all what type of shoes I'm wearing. I'm wearing my Uggs and I'm wearing my socks with my leggings showing. Like, I just look so cozy and comfy. Ugh. I'm back home <laughs> I wash my face um, I'm back home that movie I need to see it again that was one of those movies you watched it and like you know you ever watch a movie and it's like okay you watched it and you were amazed but 
you really didn't understand the underlying meaning meaning to this to uh, ugh. you really didn't understand the underlying meaning to this fullest extent like i understand okay woman is really king and like how the woman really has the power to um a lot of movements in this case it's to how the woman is really like the strength to a kingdom in this case just to bless the story but me and my entrepreneurial mindset <laughs> the first time me watching this i was not only watching this and being amazed i was also taking notes so when it comes time for me to write my own movies and to direct and to really put stuff into play i was really paying attention to certain things that was put into place in the movie like certain just certain things like i can't, I, I really can't explain into detail um, because then I'll be giving away what I plan on doing and I am still in my baby stages and my infancy stages of writing my own scripts and having my own ideas. That movie was so good. Was so good. And when I write my own films, I want people to be able to say after they've watched it, the same thing. Like that movie was so good. I want people to have the same jaw dropping effect. And it's more of just, and, it, and the movie itself is more than it's just being an amazing action film. It, it, it has, you know, it has a deeper message into how the woman is just looked at like externally it's just being like this just submissive being when really we have so much power and we really do run the world like not even being funny it's okay and it, and it was a good storyline an amazing storyline amazing storyline if you have not seen um woman is king with lead viola davis you're missing out okay you are missing out. I'm not going to spill the tea. I don't know if I want to be one of those channels to start spilling the tea on movies or not. And I don't know if I want to start doing... Um, I don't know what you call those. But like videos where you watch a movie and then you give your in-depth thoughts on everything afterwards. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Only because I want to write my own films and direct my own films. So if I do those type of uh, videos for YouTube, I'm going to be giving away my thoughts and my thought pattern for certain things that I'm thinking of when it comes to films. Does that make sense? Like in a way I am. And that's how rich people stay rich. They feed off the poor. Mm, it's not giving that. I'm, mm -mm, I'm going to be rich too. I'm going to get my check. Okay. So anyway, besides that, if you don't give Viola Davis her things, you need to go to hell. Because Viola Davis deserves her things. That's why she's my favorite actor. She doesn't just act, honey. She doesn't just act. She doesn't just act. She embodies that role and she creates a movement. She creates a movement. She almost has the same effect. Not almost. What? She almost has the same effect as like Denzel. Like when I, like I think I was, um... When, it, when I had my initial, like, what Montego TV is going to be about video, go back and watch that if you haven't seen that. I was talking to you guys about my favorite actors, and one of the things I said why Denzel is one of my favorite actors is because every time I've watched one of his movies, I've left out of the movie thinking differently about life in some way, but shape, form, or fashion. And Viola Davis, this movie gave me that same vibe. Every other movie she's played in, all I got to say about Viola Davis, Viola Davis, she will embody that role. And you would think it's her. You would think it's her. You know what I'm saying? Uh, sickening. Just sickening. And it's not even just Viola Davis. That movie was not even just built off of her. The women that they had around her. I wonder who picked those girls. Who picked them? Because they deserve a million dollars just for picking those girls. Because who they picked for those roles to be um, part of her army? Chef's 
Kiss! Chef's kiss! Oh! Chef's kiss, chef's kiss, chef's kiss, chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. And then they tapped into slavery a little bit, like back in the day. They tapped into villages and war. I don't think that's really talked about enough in media. Because nobody's really doing that nowadays. I mean, if they are, like if people are really in villages still like fighting for battle and stuff like that, we don't really hear about it. But nobody's really doing that anymore. <sighs> I liked that. I really, really, really did like that. That movie was so good. That's why I said I got to watch it again. I really want to get it. I really want to get inside of the writer's head. I want to get inside of the director's head. I got to watch that movie again. But in the meantime, until I watch it again, I'm about to go to bed. Well, not go to bed. Um, I'm about to edit this. Um, the story time that you guys are going to actually watch. I'm going to try to get it done by tomorrow. So hopefully I can have it posted by tomorrow. But just my New York Fashion Week, my first time in New York story time. I just really wanted to shed light on what my trip was really like. So that's what I'm going to try to start editing tonight. If I fall asleep, I fall asleep. And then I'll pick up editing tomorrow. But um that oh i'm so bothered so excuse the audio on that video by the way because my audio was messed up on that one and i'm so mad about it because like i really like to do a good job in general i just like to do a good job so just that sound not being right i'm kind of looking at myself like a little failure womp womp, and i just need to let it go because that would not be the first to for youtube video on youtube that had crappy sound like i just really need to let it go but me just being hard on myself so excuse the audio if you really do care about just everything being aesthetically pleasing i'm sorry the audio is not 100 percent. i'm going to do some study work on how i can improve the audio um post-production I'm, I'm working on it like i said i told you guys i'm practicing things in front of and behind the camera so that's something i'm going to be trying to figure out and if i ha can't master it by you know a certain time sorry. but other than that i will see you guys tomorrow <laughs>
it's just, I don't know, accountability and my reputation. Like, I really am hard on myself and, like, how I present myself. So, I was stressed out, basically ready to cry. I didn't cry because of my makeup. Man, this damn makeup, you do not, like, really express your emotions. Like, it's crazy. So, I literally just got my phone fixed 10 minutes ago. Then Benzo messages me and says, oh, the photo shoot's not till tomorrow. Oh, oh I forgot to tell y'all, I've been kind of looking around, because it's at a park. Like, that he's doing this, like, type of spe specific aesthetic, and he needed a park. I was looking around the park. Yeah, couldn't find them. But anyway, an hour later, Benzo says, you know, I finally get the message when my phone gets fixed that, yeah, the photo shoot's not till tomorrow. Baby, I've had an afternoon, and now it's 8 o'clock. I have to be at work at 9. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't like I cannot like I'm going to, like I, I'm going to work I'm not saying I can't go to work but I just can't with life like I can't I ended up just changing it's dark outside so I ended up just turning the light off and changing in the car for work I'm wearing like a basic like black crop top and some leggings I don't have anything sp like special on I took the whole dress off the dress is sitting right here that I had on um because Benzo wanted us to wear a white dress for the aesthetic of like what he's trying to you know achieve and everything bro what a day what a fucking day oh y'all tonight was a crazy night because it was slow at first and then it picked up for me specifically because i'm a hustling ass bitch okay i'm gonna talk my way into some tip money but it was still slow in here but i'm gonna talk my way into some tip money so yeah okay y'all i'm about to head to work um, I've had a crazy ass week. I haven't really been vlogging like that. Like, I want to be able to bring you guys on my day to day, but my day to day has to make sense. Like, I don't want to just be putting anything in the vlog. I understand I want to be a YouTuber and all that, but I can't just be putting anything in the vlog. So, this is what I'm wearing to work today. Hold on. Back you guys up a little bit. So, I'm just wearing a regular bodysuit, some jeans. A belt and my Ux slides. Um, for who? Bleh, for those of you who don't know, I bartend um, at a club here in Detroit. So yeah, I'm actually running late. It is currently 8:37 right now. I'm running behind. I'm definitely fucking late <laughs> because I'm supposed to be there at nine o'clock, and I live 20 minutes from there. It just this is what I mean. I wanted to bring you guys along on today, but today it's just been crazy. So you looking for a free? I'm the biggest one. I could do a trick, you ain't no make you come. Big ghetto booty, bougie choosy, ain't giving up the busy for dinner in a movie. I need me a nasty ass nigga that don't care. Brother with my ex, cause I had the nigga scared. You ain't eating what you here for, baby. I'm a nympho. Known to keep a nigga on rock like a prince. Real freaks don't trip. They Treat them like party favors, I pass them like chips Get my nut, then what? I'm back to business, a good thing and a trick That's all that we eat I need a freak But you want to be up all night. I was like, I don't see him wearing some like some black and red shoes. Uh oh. But he said he was the work it, snap it, touch it, drop it, holler, work it, beat, snap it, no, was touch it, swap, drop it. Nobody freak like me. Touch it, real hot girl shit. Nobody freak like me. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Hey, big old freak. Snap it, touch it. Big old freak. Hey, big old freak. 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 Big old freak
Big ol' freak, huh? Big booty, big ol' tree. I'ma make him wait for the pussy. Shit is me, big ol' ski. Hey, feet on the bed. I fuck him up in the head. Suck it, then look in his eyes. Then the next day I might leave him on red. Hey, pop it, pop it, huh? They dreamin' by hot rocket, huh? He hit my phone with a horse, so I know that me come over and ride it. I'm on the way, huh? Ride on that dick, I'm like, hey, hey. Usually I like to fuck, but tonight we gon' make love 'cause you babe. Nobody know. With him on the low We never show up together But I text him when I'm ready to go Hey, I had a couple of shots at the bar I'm finna play with that dick in the car I got him swerving and breaking the law Leaves with no tennis so nobody say nobody huh. like me huh. Get what you need like me huh. Ain't nobody got a funny tip, tip, toes And roll to the tip like me huh. I got him a stick and he fiending My body a drug and he need it He begging me for the treatment He throw a fit when I leave him He like, big ol' freak huh. Big ol' freak so I'm not sure if you guys seen this on TikTok. Like, um, what is her name on TikTok? Like Qu Queen Laray, Laray is Qu Queen, something like that. And she's like a hairstylist. What part of town? Don't remember. And she basically said, if you take your wig that's wa freshly washed and you want to dry it, like in a matter of like 20 minutes max, what you do is take that wig, you get you a towel, you lay the wig in the towel, and then you get a blow dryer to hang out the side. Um, and it like traps the heat inside of the towel and it makes it dry quicker. So I'm actually gonna show you guys, I have my blow dryer and my wig right here right now. So let me show you guys. So as you see here, I have my blow dryer sticking out of this towel. So you place the wig inside the towel, you wrap it up and make sure you have two ends that are not folded. So like you don't fold the ends like this cause you don't wanna trap the heat too much and start a fire. So you let both sides of the towel be open like this so the heat can ventilate but still dry your wigs in time you put your blow dryer in one end it just turn it on and you see how the heat pumps it up what, ha what is happening in here is like the heat is just circulating making the wig dry so sorry guys for the background noise because you guys are blow drying that wig so i'm in the living room right now So good. So good. And I put sugar in the spaghetti. So, so the sugar versus non-sugar debate in spaghetti. Growing up, I didn't use to like sugar in my spaghetti because it was like, why would you do that? That's weird. But as I got older, I started cooking more and learning flavors. Sugar in spaghetti is actually really good. So, I'm team sugar spaghetti, okay? I am team sugar spaghetti. Comment below, which one are you? Te team sugar or no sugar when it comes to spaghetti? Which one are you? Let's hurry up and finish eating and then come back and talk to you guys. I'm actually watching, this new, This is a new channel and I'm watching, I just kinda, it kinda came up on some, I, ugh, it came up on my suggested and I just started watching it. So I'm about to eat that, uh, eat this food, finish watching this and then I'm gonna hurry up and do my hair y'all cause I gotta leave the house in like an hour. But yeah, but I was starving so I had to cook something. So. Okay, y'all so i just finished my hair and makeup we're about to head to work i need to leave the house in like 20 minutes i'm trying to figure out what i'm gonna put on i think i'm gonna wear something basic today because tonight is twerk night and usually it just be all, like a whole bunch of females it's just like ready to twerk for some money um so i'm, I'm looking good obviously because i did my hair and makeup but i don't think i'm gonna overthink my outfit because it's not like you know what i'm saying like a celebrity's coming out or like you know i don't really need to pop out so let me sit you guys somewhere 
If you guys hear that noise in the background, that video in the background, that's uh, Carisha's podcast. She's actually talking to Sweetie. I know I'm like late watching that one, but I really, I haven't really been watching her podcast like that. And I'm just kind of like catching up and watching them as I go. Like when I get dressed, when I get dressed and I do my makeup and stuff, majority of the time I'm watching some type of like podcast, some, listening to someone speak and listening to their perspective on things. Preferably bad bitches. Preferably bad bitches. That's what I watch. But I'm okay with watching like relationship podcasts and certain men podcasts it just depends on the mood i'm in but i just feel like it really sets the vibe when i really hear a woman speak as i'm putting myself together i don't know if it's just me i don't know it might just be me i don't know but i think i'm gonna wear something basic as hell today it's like my closet is a complete mess um i really don't know what to put on i can't see i'm trying to think so I low-key want to wear this basic black crop top that I have. Yesterday, I ended up wearing... It really doesn't even matter. My outfit was ugly yesterday. I just really threw something on. Like, I didn't put any thought to my outfit, for real. And, yeah. So, I don't know. I kind of want to wear this. I kind of want to wear a skirt, but then I feel like a skirt is doing too much. Okay, I know what I'm going to wear. I don't want to wear. Let me put it on and see how it looks. I'm going to wear this. I need a black bra. Black bra. I'm going to try these work pants that I have. I have um these black pair of like plaid. Work. They look, they are like legging work. These pants, I originally bought them to wear like with work clothes and stuff like that. But since they're like legging material, I might dress them up with my combat boots. And it actually might look pretty cute. So I'm going to try it and I'm going to let you guys know. So, okay, I know you guys are wondering, like, why the hell don't I not have clothes in this section? I did have clothes in this section of my closet, but, um, you know when you put too many clothes on a rack and the rack is not substantial and, like, stern? All of my clothes fell down, and this was, like, two weeks ago, so I need to actually get that fixed. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it. So, honestly, I moved all the clothes that were sitting over here on this side of, of this closet, um, and it just looks, I mean, it doesn't look a mess. But it's just not how I want my closet organized. I had everything set up how I liked it. Like I would have my work and professional clothes here. Um, it just, everything's just all over the place. But this besides the point. So I need to figure out what jewelry I'm going to put on. Because I think I'm going to stick with this outfit. I'm going to show you guys in a minute. But I need to figure out what jewelry and what scent I'm going to put on. So this is my regular degular... Got this from Play-Dohs again, but I don't know where it's actually from. I have no idea, but it's just my nice little triple chain. It goes with damn near every outfit that I have, and it just dresses it up. Um, when I do get to the point, I will get like a real gold, like real gold jewelry and have my outfits all looking all nice and dainty and just, you know, luxurious. But right now, we're going to have to do what we got to do. So I'm going to wear my uh, three-part chain. Let me see. The only thing I hate about this necklace, it stays tangling up like throughout the time of me wearing it. It never just stays, oops, it never stays how I put it when I put it on. So I like this. Um, I need to put some gold jewelry on my earrings. Um, I need to put some gold jewelry on my ears. I really wish I could wear these. So I bought these little, I don't know if you guys can see them. A long time ago, I bought these little, um, excuse my nails. They're like nubs, but they're going to look like nubs until I can figure something out with them. And that's not going to be today. So um, I bought these little, like, little hooks that really you're supposed to cuff on your ear. So it can like you have multiple piercings on your ear. And I want to wear them. But they, it just fell off. It doesn't stay on. Um... They don't stay on and they're not bendable. The type of hardware it's like made out of that you can't even like make it tighter. And then if you squish it, it's like you damn near make it too tight. And I'm not trying to lose circulation. Ridiculous. Typically I'll put two earrings in, but I'm kind of feeling the one earring thing today. But then it's like, nah, nah, I got to give that extra little. I don't know, that second piercing be speaking to me. It's like a little bit of edge because I don't have any tattoos yet and I'm working on it. Um, I'm just, it's, it's a lot of reasons why I don't have tattoos because it's like I want tattoos, 
but two things they're hella expensive which is something that can be tackled down by just saving got it but the, the ideas that I am coming up with when it comes to tattoos like I just want to make sure it's like unique to me um, I'm not gonna say I'm ever gonna get a tattoo where it's like nobody ever has it yeah and then I might end up getting something unique then I start end up starting a trend that would be great but like I the first things that come to my mind are stuff that like a lot of women already have starting with the roses starting with the rose tattoos very cute and it's something i low-key still want but it's like so many women have them and it's like i low-key only want them because i've seen a lot of women women wear it and rock it but that's getting besides the point my second hole piercing kind of gives me that little edge until i get my tattoos um if that makes any sense at all it's like adds a little edge to my style so yeah let me show you guys my outfit um so y'all can kind of understand what i had a vision for it's like preppy raunchy around like i don't know i i don't really know how to categorize it i'm gonna show you so these are the pants i told you i i really typically just wear them for work or what have you and i'm wearing this crop top okay by the way i'm not like plato's closet is not even sponsoring me bro they're not but i get majority of my shit there because i know how to be bougie on a budget like you get the same stuff that you like at Play-Dohs. I got this crop top from Play-Dohs and these pants from Play-Dohs. And I bet you like some of this stuff is from Pretty Little Thing, Fashion Nova. The list goes on. All the stuff that you find that you like. But anyway, those the top, the pants, and then I have these combat boots on. Can you guys see them? Hello, hello. It's like I'm giving preppy punk rock. I don't know. I can't explain it. I don't know. And then for my smell goods today, I do bougie on a budget. I hate to say it. I got this from Play the Closets as well. This is Victoria's Secret's bombshell. Um, let me show you guys. Victoria's Secret's bombshell. Um, it gives a more mature scent. I typically like more fruitier. Um, I don't want to say childish scents. I don't want to say that. But I like scents typically that like have more of fruity base. This one. So it smells very more mature, like women's cologne and like more musky and like just strong. It hits you in the face. I typically would expect my mom to wear this scent, but I like to wear it sometimes when I'm in my world woman vibe, when I just feel like it's just it. Like I should be wearing this. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just I when I pick a scent, it's like what the, what is the mood I'm going for for that day? So yeah. I actually am thinking about doing a video too about all my cheap scents that I have that are actually really good. Um, comment below if you guys want that. If you guys want like a perfume haul or like just a haul of like inventory of like my current like scents, my favorite scents are, or like what's like my part of my collection, something like that. I'm figuring out like what the category or like what the specifics are gonna be. But anyway, so besides that now I'm starving. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to get anything to eat before work um, because I don't want to be bloating up and my period's going to be starting soon and I'm wearing a crop top. So I might starve myself to after work. Not recommending this for anybody. I'm just thinking logically here. Or I might end up changing my mind and say, fuck it, get me a Sprite with whatever I get. Because I'm not starving, but I just know it's time to eat. You know what I'm saying? That's how you know my period's coming on because it's not necessarily like I'm hungry. I just want to eat. So... Anyway, before we go, I just want to show you guys that I've paired this rainbow jacket from New York with everything, okay? The leather on leather, it's giving an outfit. Am I bartending or going out? Because baby can't tell. Your bartender got style, what's up? Okay, it's giving. Definitely giving and it's giving the look that I wanted. I'm glad I followed my cut. Now we're about to leave the house, okay? <laughs> Y'all, so I'm about to go inside. There ain't nobody really here, so I ain't really rushing. Uh, I kind of was just vibing out in the car before I... Ooh, I was kind of just vibing out in the car before I got on camera. And everything, I was listening to Friday Night Cypher, Big Sean, Side of Baby Cash Doll, Eminem. Eminem? Eminem. And, you know, other greats, 42 Doug, you know, uh, payroll other greats so I was just vibing out listening to that like that song is like damn near old now but cypher shall I say is damn near old but it should be getting me lit I'm just like 
I'm ready to make some money. I'm in like a money making mood. So that's, I guess that's why I turned that on. And then before that, I was listening to Cash Doll. Her for everybody. It hit every time. Because <laughs> she mean what she say and she said what she meant. But at the same time, I like her point to why she created the song. Because it's like both y'all bitches look stupid. So it's just the whole, whole, the whole song in itself is just giving that. And before that, I was listening to Rico Nasty. That's my bitch. That's my bitch. I need to get into her new album. It's just her new music is giving more of a rock and roll vibe, which I have nothing wrong with that. It's just, I got to get into it. You know what I'm saying? Because it took me a minute to warm up to Rico Nasty when I first, first got introduced to her. Except for Rage. Rage has always been one of my favorite songs by her. Because it's like, you like really exuded energy of like rage they keep trying me like they keep like it's like rage like it, it's like really something you really can't explain and relate to so always been my favorite song of hers but other than that um that's what i listened to on the way here and i was just kind of vibing out and i'm just kind of like i'm about to go inside it is time for me to go inside but like yeah i just wanted to get myself together i don't like hopping right out the car if i can help it Cause it's like I'm jumping from one extreme to the next, to the next. Cause I just gotta be prepared for what's to come, you know, tonight. Cause like I said, tonight I'm not really expecting much. I just really want to put myself together for me. I put this outfit on for me. This is for nobody else. Honestly, I don't even think people are gonna see it today. Today I really predict to be a slow night, but you never know. I did do my manifestation before I left the house. I was like, God, please bless me with a thousand dollars guys i'm sticking to it i don't care what you say because it's like what do i have to lose you know and by saying one more sentence throughout my day that really can add to my life that's a positive sentence so i did my manifest manifestation before i left the house and just really just really being in tune with that thought of me randomly just getting blessed with a lump sum of money because it happens on a day-to-day -day basis it's just a matter of being around the right people and I know in this type of industry, you definitely can be around all right people and just come up on some money. I know this next season um, for me is going to be pretty good. Um, not even just the bartending in general, but it's just right now. I'm kind of like trying to elevate and stuff. But yeah, let's go inside. I got to set up my station for the bar and figure out what register I'm at and just get everything situated. So. Okay, I got a little bit of an attitude and I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to go home. Because, first of all, people ain't been tipping basically the whole night so far. It's almost 1130. I mean, the night's not over, but it's like, it's not fucking giving. Like, people coming through, not like they're coming through with no tipping money at all. Like, it's like back to back to back. Over. And then the one tip I do get is $20. Okay, boom. Then, our kitchen, we out of shit. And it's like, I'm forgetting the small shit. We're like, we're, we're out of like certain shit. So I'm forgetting that we can't do a lot of shit. So I'm like going back, fixing stuff. And then like, oh, I'm just irritating. I'm ready to go. I'm just ready to go. I want to go home so bad. I want to just say like, hey, can I go home? But like, I want to go so, home. Hey y'all, it is currently 3.19 in the morning. And I just got home from work. Um, tonight was very, very interesting. Not in a good way. Um, it was just like a lot of non-tippers in the building. Um, Thursdays is the twerk night, but I just know like where where I, blah, 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 blah. I just know when I started at my job at bartending at this club they literally are in like in the middle of making a lot of changes so they're like revamping a lot of events and stuff like that but I I don't know I have no idea if this where this stems from I have no idea where this emotion stems from but I just feel like Especially when you're attractive, you should not be walking out of your job. Why is it doing that? You should, 
you should not be walking out of your job with less than like two hundred dollars for a whole shift. Like that's just my perspective. Believe what you want, but I just feel like when it comes to these jobs and you really are attractive, like they people should be tipping. On top of that, even if it has nothing to do with your looks, they should be tipping in general because that's just the vibe where we're at. It's no reason for you to be coming outside in the public to public areas, restaurants, bars, and clubs, and you coming outside with no money or just enough money to pay for your food. Not only is that a buzzkill, then them they be the same people asking for a whole bunch of stuff. Like you going to sit here and not put nothing on the tip line and ask for X, Y, and Z additionally? Come on. And it'd be like extra stuff. Like just a whole bunch of extraness. And to especially the dudes, it's like they be trying to flirt with me at the bar. That should be so irritating because it's like y'all be the main ones. Well, not all of them. Some of them understand the assignment. Not, not all of them. But majority of the dudes that come in there trying to give me compliments, they don't be putting nothing on a tip line. How am I supposed to know that you want me if you don't put nothing on the tip line? It's like you say blah, blah, blah. You know, you so pretty, you so beautiful, you got a man. Whatever your pickup line is, it doesn't even matter. Then proceed to try to uh, uh, book a date with me and proceed to try to actually get on my schedule. Ain't gonna mess around and put five dollars, zero to five dollars on that tip line, baby. No, no, you're leading with the wrong foot already, and I don't like it. Especially, especially when your tab is justifiable for a good tip especially in that case but anyway tonight was just one of those nights it's okay i just had to rant and get that off my chest but okay i'm gonna talk to y'all tomorrow i'm sick of talking y'all ear off i feel like y'all sick of hearing me talk at this point so i'm going to hush and go to bed Did you move? Yeah, I did. I did. I like it though. I always save everything. Yes. I like this off of this. I can't see you. <laughs> Wait, let me step over here so we can both get in the light. Come over here. Right yeah, right there. Yeah. 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 I do. Why are you not turning to the side? I don't know. I'm to get the box I know. Like, that was so slow with me. Like, that's how you know I'm used to taking pictures by myself. I'm used to, um, you know, how when you're vlogging and shit, you gotta put it this way so you can post it, but. Big booty, big old tree. I'ma make him wait for the pussy. Wait, wait, wait. Hit me, big old ski. 
feet on the bed I fuck him up in the head Suck it, then look in his eyes Then the next day I might leave him on red Damn. Pop it, pop it, huh? They dreamin' by hot rocket, huh? He hit my phone with a horse So I know that me come over and ride it I'm on the way, huh? Ride on that dick, I'm like, hey, hey Usually I like to fuck it's a SRT, cool up GWAX, he's three Make a 55 sub that T He want a menage with a new body Man, you niggas can't fuck with me Cause I came from the bottom, from the fence to the China